Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. You know it's a beautiful day. It's been really windy though but I hope you're getting out and about right having a great time. Okay anyway I'm here checking in on the energy. All right this is what's happened to you in the past and we're going to get to how the one on your mind is feeling about you as well. Um, anyway, just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. I love you guys. Um, thank you so much. I just heard somebody say, I wish we were kicking it. I, I you know, I, I guess somebody wants to maybe hang out with you or, you know, um, they wish they were still with you. They wish they could still have a way into your good graces okay they're not even your friend anymore i feel like this person really didn't treat you like a friend they this is somebody who um left you behind um it started off really well this was a brand new beginning i feel like you were very enthusiastic excited about it you saw this person as the one okay but i feel like they were very materialistic they saw you in the five of pentacles energy um maybe at the time you were having some kind of financial struggles we've all been there i'm telling you i grew up in poverty so um it's hard to get out of that hole okay it, maybe this person they met you like coming off of a bad breakup or a heartache or um you just were in a bad place at the time you know what i'm saying maybe you didn't have enough money or they saw you as not having fancy enough clothes a fancy enough job a fancy enough car a fancy enough home you know and i feel like this person was very materialistic they wanted they wanted to choose somebody who had the most the most money the most material possessions okay you could have just been living very humbly and they they took that as maybe they saw you always being in poverty you know what i mean i don't know the, but here's the thing no matter what situation what kind of situation you were in in the past financially that doesn't define who you are you know um we see it all the time out here in tarot land people misjudging others you know and and the people that that have been um wrongly misjudged right those people are now flipping into um, a time of abundance and blessings okay so i feel like that's what happened here this person whoever this is that's on your mind they didn't think you had enough they didn't think you had enough money they didn't think you had fancy enough clothes something 1044 is on the clock right now um, and a 10 is like an ending. So I feel like this ended very quickly, okay, um, when they saw your financial state at the time. And let me tell you, like, most of the population is struggling. So, you know, um, why this person thought that you didn't, ha it's like they didn't know your value. They didn't know your worth. They looked at what you had like in your bank account maybe or you know the money that you had in your pocket and they're like oh that's not enough i'm going on to the next person and i feel like this that's what they did you know they just kind of left you behind and they tried to close the door on this okay they tried to um kind of push this under the rug is sort of what I'm feeling like here. They tried to push this under the rug and sort of just forget about it like it was nothing. Okay, moving on, right? Um, but now your justice is coming. I feel like what was done to you was extremely unfair. Okay, this person misjudged you and threw you out like a piece of garbage. That's sort of what it was like for them. They were very insensitive, extremely disrespectful, um, very selfish, inconsiderate, um, thinking they were better than you, wanting to go to where the grass was greener, okay, um, looking for the next best thing. And I feel like th this is what they wanted. They wanted to find somebody with the most money 
or with the most material possessions. Okay, and now I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, all of this is changing for you. And with justice out here, the scales are being balanced out for you now. This person didn't see that coming in the future. They didn't. Okay, it's like, it's like um, they were attracted to anything shiny. And in trying to find the shiniest thing, this person was absolutely blindsided. Because now, now I feel like you've pulled yourself out of this um, financial hole or, you know, f out of being stuck financially, you've pulled yourself out. Okay. Um, and I feel like it's been a struggle for you. You've had nothing but difficult times, right? Um, and now things are changing for you. The doors are opening up. But when you think about all you had to endure here, this person didn't see the honor. They like, they didn't honor you. Okay, they didn't see the honor in your perseverance. They didn't see the value in the strength you had to have to live like that. Okay, I feel like you've been through some really flipping hard times. Okay, you're not the only one. There's so many people out there. Why they would misjudge people in this way, you know, um, and just dismiss people. That's what they did. They just dismissed you, you know, looking for who had the most. I, 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 I feel like when people judge others like this, number one, they don't know the stories, the backstory, the things that you had to go through. If this person had to walk a mile in their shoes, number one, they wouldn't last. They wouldn't last. They wouldn't last a block in your shoes. Okay, but they would see just how much strength, perseverance, integrity it took for you to survive that. Okay, that's the stuff that's worth something. That's, that's worth everything, way more than materialistic gains. Okay, but that's how this person, they, they misjudged you. They didn't know what you were capable of. They, um, they didn't see your f things changing for you in the future. Like they did not see this coming, okay? That it, the scales would be balanced out for you, that you, the universe would bring you some fairness into your life. So I feel like you're no longer in the Five of Pentacles energy where you're having these struggles, you know? Um, not knowing who to turn to, who's going to help you, where you're going to go, how are you going to pay for food next week? How are you going to pay for what your children need next week? I feel like you're, you're being exalted out of those issues. And now fairness and balance is, is happening in your life. And this person, you know, I feel like um, they were, I feel like they were very attracted to you. I feel like this person... Um, they wanted to give this a try, right? But boy, did they miss out. They really missed out. To them, they just dismissed somebody who didn't have enough money or was in a time, like a place of like hardship, okay? But really, they missed out on somebody who's got, who's persevered through all of that, who, um, who knows how to survive, like you, you will be able to survive. You know, they missed out on someone who's honest. I don't think you, you, you know, you were honest with them about your situation. Okay. They're not going to get that kind of honesty from just anybody. Right. You were honest with this person. You were humble. Okay. Um, that takes a lot of strength. You know, I, I just feel like they really missed out on somebody with great integrity and strength here. They didn't know what they were doing when they judged you wrongly. Okay, now everything is changing for you. And I feel like there's somebody now who is kicking themselves. See, look, they left you behind with no compassion. This person hurt you so badly. They, they showed no empathy, okay? 
Um, it, it, it's almost as if they acted like they didn't even care. And I feel like when they left, they kind of left you in the dark, right? They left you in the dark. Like, why would they do this? It's because this person was materialistic. It's because they thought you didn't have enough money or they thought you, um, you know, weren't established enough, right? They thought you weren't stable enough. So they left you behind and they acted like they didn't care. All right, what is this person feeling about my collective right now? You could be a, a Cancer. You could be a Libra. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe. Yeah, now they're, now they're seeing you in a whole different light. They're looking at you from a whole new perspective. I'm just, I've, uh, that's the instant feeling I'm getting off of this, is seeing things from a new perspective now. And they're really worried that you're going to get with someone new. You may have already met somebody new, okay? You could already have new love in your life. If this person is jealous, envious, because you know what? Now they're seeing that they held the world in the palm of their hands when they were with you. All those qualities about you that they just kind of overlooked. They didn't see your potential. They didn't have faith in you. They didn't believe in you. Okay? Now they're seeing things from a different perspective. See, they're taking a step out and they're looking at it. Okay? And, and they're seeing just how much they had and how much they let go of. But they treated you like you were nothing, really. You know, when this person walked away. And that's why they walked away. Okay, yeah, see, they're regretting this now. They're regretting it because now it's them that's in a vulnerable position. Now it's them. Now they're feeling vulnerable. This is the five of pentacles leaves you feeling so vulnerable. You literally don't know what you're going to do and where you're going to go and who's going to help you. You know, you could have come from a past relationship that left you broken hearted and, and somebody put you out in the cold, even with kids. And you were trying to rebuild, trying to heal, trying to struggle your way through that crap. Now, now it's this person who feels very vulnerable, okay? Because now they want you back. Now they're regretting everything that they did. Like they should have never treated you, just, just dismissed you or tossed you aside like an empty can of soda. That's what this person did. They want to come in and tell you they're sorry. Now they're very sorry. Now I feel like you're very empowered too. This card says empowered capable strong powerful okay they may see you in a very powerful position um they could see you getting a lot of respect and recognition for whatever it is that you're doing they may even see you as a very powerful manifester like you can get pretty much whatever you want now because you know how to manifest you know, you could be in a time of your life right now where blessings are coming in, right? Things that you want, things that you need are all coming to you, just kind of flowing in. That's what this person is seeing. Changes are happening in your life. The wheel of fortune is turning and new things, new, new doors of opportunity are opening up for you. And good stuff is coming in now, finally after possible years of struggling and trying to make it, okay, you're finally getting good stuff happening to you now. And, and now this person is like, well, shoot, no one's grass is greener now than the collectives, right? Yeah, now they're feeling unfulfilled, okay? Now they're feeling dissatisfied, right? And I feel like this person, they had it all in the palm of their hands when they were with you and they were dissatisfied then. You know, they're always looking for the next best thing. 
something better. Oh, there's got to be something, be someone better's out there, you know, they, and they had the best. They already had the best. And, and that's what they're thinking about. I was always looking for something better, but I already had the best. I just didn't see it. I do now. This is somebody who sees it now. Yeah. And I feel like this person, now they're not satisfied with anyone else. Okay? I feel like um, great things are happening to you. Money's coming in. Success. Okay? And um, uh, this person, I, are they ever satisfied? You know, and can you trust them again? Because if you do let this person back in, when are they going to go chasing after the next best thing again? This person knows they broke your trust. They're angry, okay? They're angry. And, you know, this is somebody who didn't give you respect and consideration before. They just didn't. Well, you're getting plenty of respect from other people, okay? And I feel like you're about to meet someone new here this is this is a like a perfect match okay you could be getting someone very spiritual having someone new come into your life that's very spiritual and this person is angry they're going to be jealous they're stressed out they know you're about to get someone new see they admire you now you went from the Five of Pentacles where life had you in a very unstable position, okay? Like you were having really tough times, okay? You went from that to somebody with power, somebody um, with possible success and a lot of money, okay? Now they're angry, and you're getting a lot of recognition and respect from other people. They didn't give it to you then. So you know what? That's okay. You're getting it from others. All right? And somebody else is coming into the picture for you. This person is really worried about that. I'm telling you, they're in so much regret. And there was something about your energy, like the love. Let's talk about the love you gave to this person. They wouldn't be feeling this way if you hadn't have um, really like loved them, given them the kind of love that they're not able to get from anyone else. They can't get your kind of love from anyone else. So I feel like this person felt this connection too. But they were more into money and materialistic things than that love. Okay? But yeah, they're feeling it, man. Yeah, waves of emotion coming and going over this person. And look at them. They cannot flipping believe. They can't believe that you actually flipped from struggling into possible fortune and success. Okay, like from rags to riches kind of is what this is. Boom, boom, rags to riches. And it seems like it was very quick. But it took a lot of perseverance and a lot of hard work and effort. Yeah, you could have this person blocked. They're extremely frustrated because now they're blocked out of your life. But this person tossed you aside like you were nothing. What do they expect? And they sat on this for so long. See, they're looking at their clock. They're, they're looking at their watch here. They know that they've um, let this go on for too long in separation. You may even be making a house move. They can see that you could possibly be moving on in the future. And they, they don't want that to happen. They're really stressed out. They know you're about to get new love because you deserve it and who who wouldn't want someone with these powerful qualities this person was an absolute fool in ever tossing you aside 
They were an absolute fool for doing that. They're in a lot of regret. Yeah, they're so confused. They don't know how to come back in. And this is them also like, I can't believe. I can't believe that the collective is now um, doing so well. Right? They want to try to find a way to come back around, but they don't know how. They had it all in the palm of their hand when they had you. But they dropped the ball. They dropped the ball on this. They screwed up collective. They didn't know what they had till it was gone. Yeah. What action is this person going to take? Let me see. What action are they going to take? Look, on the bottom of the deck, we got the Knight of Wands. This person wants to come in quickly. Um, but you're closing out a cycle, and you're about to meet someone new if you haven't already. With the way this person treated you, they don't deserve to have you. I feel like they know that. What action is this person going to take? That Knight of Wands again. <laughs> They're coming forward, okay? They want to come in quickly as fast as they can before someone else snatches you up, all right? Because you're about to get with someone else. They've been sleeping on this for way too long, but this person, um, I feel like they're trying to figure out what they're going to say here, okay? Coming in with a lot of passion, a lot of fire. Um, Emperor Energy, see, they want that back. See how they're holding the world in the palm of their hands here? They want it back. They want, um, they want to get some kind of control over the situation again. Uh, they don't want to let you go, okay? This person's got a fire lit in them now. Seeing everything from a whole new perspective. What did I say? What did I say? Huh. They're seeing everything now from a whole new perspective. They've been watching you really close, and they want to get back together. <laughs> four of Wands, okay? Page of Swords, Four of Wands, Emperor. So um, now this person, I feel like um, maybe it was even years ago, you know, um, when this person walked away from you foolishly, okay? During that time of separation, I feel like this person, that's, this is all they've been thinking about. They've realized how wrong they are. They've realized how, they, how badly they screwed up. And now this person has grown, okay? Um, I feel like they're a bit older, and they, now they want to settle down, okay? They want to they wanna settle down. They want to get with the one that they can enjoy a life with and be happy with, and that's you. So this person is coming back around very quickly um, to try to get you back. Now, you may already have new love, all right? You may already have someone new. Yeah, you may already have. I feel like there's a king of pentacles coming in. Yes, that's true. So you've got two people coming at you at the same time, an ex who really screwed up. Okay, and a new person. It, they're both coming in, okay? And you get to decide which one of these people you want to be with. This, I feel like this new person is this king of pentacles, okay? It could be a person from your past. I feel like the person from your past, they're, they're wanting to, um, they're wanting to reunite and commit already, okay? They, they want to commit. They want to be dedicated. They want to be loyal and devoted, all right? But I feel like when you meet this new person, I'm just getting this as the new person's energy. Um, you're going to really like this new person. They're grounded. They're stable. They, they're coming in. This is somebody new without a history of pain between you who doesn't want to hurt you. Who's going to want to be at your side? 
this this new person could um, be really good with their money they're sitting here on a on a golden throne okay um, they could be a, a business owner, a boss. It, it look at, they've got a lot of money here. I feel like you're you're about to get new love. There's there's going to be a huge competition between these two people. The clout chaser, the selfish one, the one, the materialistic person. They're wanting you back, and then we have somebody who actually does have very green grass, who's going to want you as well. Ooh, collective, get ready. The choice is going to be yours, and it's coming in fast, fast and hot, okay? <laughs> this past person, the one from your past, they could be a Sagittarius, a Leo Aries Sagittarius, maybe Gemini. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, I've got Aquarius here too. Maybe Pisces. And this new person coming in, they may be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe even a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But, um, you know, it's really just energy. Okay? This is someone grounded, stable, good with their money. And they're going to be able to commit to you. They're going to be... They're going to want to commit and be growing something at your side so yeah two people one choice what's it going to be collective you get to decide anyway that's what i have for this reading i do hope this helps i hope it resonates if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel, you guys. Join this awesome soul tribe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.